This is SLA TV, television for the beef cattle industry. Show the world that you ranch the superior way with apparel, hats, and other merchandise from the Superior Online Store. Whether you're looking for a gift or something for yourself, the only place to find official Superior Livestock branded apparel is at SuperiorLivestockStore.com. The online store features name brands such as Port Authority, Click, and Dry Duck. Hats, jackets, shirts, vests, gloves, coolers, and much more are just a click away. Order today. Superior Livestock Auction isn't just a name, it's an expectation. Because our customers expect us to deliver superior results. Uh, Superior has been great to work with. It's really picked up our footprint in America. Here we're selling bulls all over that we never would have. Having the assistance of Superior Auction, it's definitely been an addition to our bottom line. At Superior, our expectation is to increase your bottom line. Call or click to find out more. Established in 1987, Superior Livestock Auction is now the largest cattle marketing network in North America. Weekly video auctions called by world champion auctioneers, along with Superior's online click-to-bid, puts thousands of qualified buyers in front of your production or commercial cattle. My grandfather used to put them on a stock car and go to Sioux City, Iowa. Now we have it worldwide web. You can watch it on the internet or TV. That slings our loop out a whole lot further than just uh, Texas. Our cattle get a little further away than just Central Oregon or this Northern California country. Our customers have a way to purchase bulls without having to physically be at the sale. They open up a whole new world of buyers that can look at your cattle. That network of people is so huge that creates a perfect venue. Different people buying them that got competitive deals, kind of tough to beat. They're seen by probably pretty much every person buying cattle in the U.S. They pretty much establish the price. It seems like Superior is always kind of the trendsetter. Year after year, producers across the nation trust their bottom line to Superior Livestock Auction. We were very skeptical to begin with, but it's worked out great for us. They have done such an extraordinary job in helping us market our program throughout the United States. No matter the location of your operation, Superior Livestock Auction can move your cattle for top dollar. To go through Superior, we were able to go back east with the cattle, where before we didn't have that option. We are several hundred thousand dollars ahead of where we would be if we didn't have Superior. That's why we've been doing it for 20 years. We've had really good experience with them, I guess, after 28 years. If we hadn't, we wouldn't be with them yet. We're building relationships you can build your business on. Call or go online to learn more about marketing your cattle the superior way. The Superior Country Page is the leading online marketplace for buying and selling load lots of calves, feeders, and breeding stock. The Country Page is an efficient, easy to use, and low cost solution for selling cattle. You set the price and move at your pace with flexible delivery options. The Country Page matches the best buyers to the best sellers at the best price for both parties. Call or log on today to find out more about the Superior Country Page. Superior VAC protocols and value-added programs build confidence with cattle buyers. Superior's vaccination protocols are the benchmark for America's beef industry. Those along with Superior Progressive Genetics, third-party verified Superior Source and Age, Verified Natural, NHTC, GAP, Beef Care, and other Superior value-added programs give buyers the confidence to pay premiums for quality load-lock cattle you sell on Superior. Call or go online to find out more. Do you have a video that should be on SLA TV? Individuals and organizations are invited to share their videos with SLA TV. Let us know about your video by sending an email to sharemyvideo at sla-tv.com. This ranch here was my wife's family's ranch. They homesteaded here in 1881. I think we're the fourth generation. My boys are going to be the fifth. And uh, we've combined it with my, my family's place in Summit County, Utah. And so we run both of them in conjunction. And same thing with that. We're fourth generation down there. Same thing. 
We're strictly cow-calf now. We used to have a dairy, but we closed it down. Our genetics traditionally, the, the cattle in this country was mainly Hereford type cows influence. Early 80s, we started putting the black Angus into these cattle and predominantly now, most of these herds are all black around here. Half put a little bit of Simital, Sim Angus in them, but for the most part, we're just straight black Angus. Here in this Curlew Valley, we're, we're in the desert, so we're pretty short of rainfall here. And so this is kind of an abnormal year here that you would see with our rainfall. We'll never, we'll never cuss the rain if we get it here. We spend six months out of the year wintering on the Utah side, six months summering in the Idaho side, and we use a deferred grazing and a rest rotation grazing to order to stockpile our feed in order to secure enough feed for our grazing years. And so very few years that we have to feed hay, but, but we do have to keep a hay supply on hand in case those winters have that come about that we have to pull those cows off. We have a grazing association originally started out as the Curlew Horse and Cattle Association and that pertained, it had BLM and Forest Service permittees. In about the early 90s, the BLM broke out of that, so that is strictly run under the Forest Service. Uh, Grasslands Grazing is that association, but the BLM is still running out there, and we run that in conjunction. And so all the Cow calf man in this valley, we're, we're all members of that asso original association. We're separate operations, but we run together. Uh, our bulls are selected by us. Uh, we have a bull judging committee, so we, we use uh, the latest genetics that we can buy, purebred bulls, black Angus, and uh, Therefore, we're getting a consistent calf that my neighbor's calf is peas in the pod with mine because they're, we run together, we, we trail these cattle year round. Very few of our trucks, the cows hit a truck. And uh, the only thing is different is there's just a different brand on that calf. How we make that work is that we set up a system that the first year out, the first neighbor will bring his calves into the scales. He he weighs, and then the second one. Then the following year, we we have that on a rotating schedule. So the guy that was second last year will be first this year. And so we keep that. So everybody's calves get weighed evenly. Uh, it's the fairest thing we found that works for everybody on this pool. So nobody monopolizes on the pool. In pooling these cattle, it makes it so the little guy that doesn't have a truckload can get a load together. Be it your son or somebody starting with this, uh, we can have a producer with only 60 head of cows or a guy that's got 400 head of cows. It allows everybody to be able to capitalize on those top prices. We bid these calves in, we know what our truckloads are going to be. Between our superior rep and us, we can bring these calves usually within just a few pounds of our targeted weight. You, you really don't need to be a big producer to sell cattle on Superior. Oh, very nice. I don't think Chad knows that I wasn't. Russell is a longtime customer of Superior Rep Kelly Kunzler. Numbers always sell well. Guys get a lot of consistency out of numbers. But if you don't have a full load and your neighbor and you can put a load together, I can come by and look at them, see if they match up, tell you. I mean, and then, then you can get a forward contract and all the benefits we've talked about superior. You're not hauling them to a sale barn in October, waiting for eight, 10, 12 hours for them to sell, standing there, shrinking the whole time. Health isn't good, stress on the animals is worse. Why superior? Livestock, number one, the money's good. Don't have to haul them anywhere. We pick them up. The buyer sends the trucks. We pick them up there. And I'm at every delivery or I have a 
couple guys that work for me that'll be there if I can't be, but I try to be to every delivery. My son helps me quite a bit. He He'll deliver them. We're there. We look the cattle over when they go on. We write the check that day. They they can take it to the bank that day. There's no wait time. There's no hold time, and and it's good to go. I've been selling with Superior since uh, my father had started in Summit County since the second year they were in business. Started in a calf pool down there. And then we come up here and become part of this operation and we brought Superior into the valley in the early 90s. And the great thing about what Superior is, and these ranches that we run in common with, we're able to market these calves instead of selling just one weight of calf, we can market our lightweights and our heavyweights and we co-mingle those loads together in order for us to be able to ship all our calves and give us a higher premium for, for our weights on those truckloads. In the mid-90s, Superior set the standard for calf vaccinations and value-added programs. Today, cattle buyers will discount animals that are not included within a VAC program. And industry-leading value-added programs such as Superior Source and Age Verified, NHTC, and others are proven to add premiums on sale day. We're on the VAC 45 program where we wean and precondition and, and it allows us to get our cattle in, get the ball out of them and and uh, have a preconditioned calf where that calf can go anywhere here in the United States. Along with excellent genetics and ranch management, VAC and value-added programs are the best way to increase the bottom line of your cow-calf operation. And Superior Livestock knows that producers like Russell might only get one paycheck a year. Superior is the largest cattle marketing network in North America, and they have the proven reputation to get you the highest possible price for your cattle year after year. You watch as the summer starts, everybody has their eyes on our first big summer sale. What's the market? Anytime we have a big sale throughout the summer, everybody's watching, and I hear a lot of country buyers say, well, let's see what the cattle do on Superior, then I'll have a better idea of what they're worth. Why wouldn't you want to do all you could to make your bottom line bigger? And selling with Superior Livestock on these video auctions, to me, is a no-brainer. I mean, you're getting your forward contract when you want to sell them, not when someone dictates to you. And your money's good. Buyers look at them. There's a buyer for every set of cattle out there. Some cattle will bring more money than others, but there is literally a buyer for every type and kind of animal that we put on Superior. For so many cow-calf operations located off the beaten path, Superior opens the door to a nationwide base of over 8,000 active buyers. Superior gives buyers access to a steady supply of quality load lot cattle and competitive bidding brings top dollar for sellers. It's a win-win for everyone. You know, the country buyers in this area, they left in the early 90s. Our only other avenue was commission houses and they were far and few between. It's, it's enabled us to sell our calves right here off the farm. Our reps been able to market our cattle from California clean back into Kansas. We have repeat buyers. We've had one repeat buyer that bought 18, 19 years. But for us, Superior, it's the only way to go. Ranch informing and country living. This is SLA TV. Reproductive success is critical in every profitable cow-calf operation. That's why you need effective, easy breeding with Vitafirm ConceptAid. High concentrations of organic trace minerals and vitamin E found in ConceptAid will ensure more of your cows breed back faster. Plus, you'll be giving your herd the Amifirm advantage, leading to healthier, heavier, more uniform calves at weaning. Vitafirm ConceptAid. Effective, easy breeding. 
The stars shine brighter when you're out on the range. You're watching SLA TV. Hi, I'm Lee Leachman, and we're here in Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, I've got a group of ranchers here from Colorado and Wyoming, and we're going to be talking about what drives profitability in the cow-calf sector. If we think about the cattle industry over the last 50 years and the changes we've seen in the industry genetically, the seed stock industry has largely pursued more growth and more carcass traits. We've made cattle substantially bigger. We've made them grow faster. But I'm not really sure we've made them more profitable for the cow-calf sector. And so we really have to think about how this selection for growth is impacting those cows and, and we really need to think about the fact that the trends within the breeds and within the breeders is to select for more and more growth and more and more carcass. And so I think uh, it could present some problems. And the, the question that I like to ask ranchers and that we're really going to discuss here today is if we continue to select for more growth rate and more carcass traits, is that really going to improve the profitability of a commercial cow herd? And so we've got uh, six guys here that are, are friends of ours and customers of ours from here in northern Colorado and Wyoming. And uh, we just have asked them to come in today and, and talk with us about what the drivers are in their cow herds and what they see as being important going forward. So thank you guys for coming today. And uh, we'll just maybe start out with uh, the, the key kind of question, which is, uh, you know, what is the most important thing to profitability in your cow-calf operation selling calves at weaning time? Well, look, I, I think to start with, we got to figure out a way to keep, keep tabs on our input costs. Because if, if we don't control that, we don't control necessarily what the out, the out cost is going to be. So profitability starts with making sure we have cows that don't cost us too much. How we control cost. I think a live calf is very important in, in our situation. We, we need calves that can get up and go. Cows don't have trouble with them. And I think that's super important in our program. I think with my experience, the uh, uh, feed costs and uh, labor are two of the biggest costs on a ranch. And so the systems you have in place dictate uh, those costs and you can really improve them by deci designing systems that uh, have that in mind. Don't require extra labor or extra feed, right? right? You know, obviously one of the drivers is how much output you have, right? We, we didn't, we kind of skipped over that one, but it's obviously growth rate and the value of that calf. We talked about cow cost and how much does that cow eat? Not something we've been able to measure historically, but now now we can, and that's an interesting thing to look at. And then the reproduction stuff, which we hit on, you know, does that calf, because I, when I think of reproduction, I think it's like, unless the calf's alive at weaning, there really wasn't reproduction, because there wasn't a live calf event, right? We gotta get that calf all the way to sale. So the calving ease, the breeding at 15 months, the breeding back early of the cow, and the survival of that calf all make a big difference. And then longevity. Um, and, and maybe somebody wants to speak to the longevity effect. I know, Wayne, when you guys are uh, doing your math, the, the, the depreciation and the value of that cow comes into play on your cost structure. Oh, absolutely. And so, uh, and time of calving, the, uh, whether you've got some crossbreeding going on in your herd, all those kind of things uh, add into the longevity. And you just think about it. If you've got to keep more heifers back, because you're turning your cow herd over, you've got less income. Doesn't make much difference what they weigh because if you don't have, if you have to keep them back to save them over, can't, uh, sell them. can't sell them. I think no matter where I go in the world, what we want to do on each of those areas is the same. We, we'd like to increase output if we could make sure we don't lose in those other areas. We'd like the cow to eat less, to control those costs going in, to fit the environment and manage that whole system. We'd like them to reproduce better, uh, more efficiently, and we'd like them to stay in the herd longer if we could. I think what, what's funny about all that is when, when you go to a typical bull sale, if I ask you to select for all that stuff, is there information in that catalog that tells you how reproduction's gonna go, or cow costs gonna go, or longevity's gonna go? 
the typical rancher, when they get a catalog, the first thing they look at is weaning weight. And the, if what we're after is more calves and more weight and better price and better feed cost and more longevity, if we're just selecting for that weaning weight, what do we think happens to the number of calves? I would say it would go down. The, the long-term effect. The yeah. long-term effect. It's right down, right? Yeah. Yes. What about calf weight? If we select for that, it better go up. Better go up, right? Or something's not working, right? Now, I think I put a sideways arrow on that one because I think our environment's limited. Let's face it, most seed stock environments are a little different than most commercial environments. And so if, if that genetics can express itself under this maximum nutrition environment in the seed stock herd and you take it to a limited nutrition environment, which is what most commercial operations that we sell to are in for one reason or another, you're maybe not going to get all of that expressed, right? What happens to calf price if weaning weight goes up? The price per pound goes down. And price per pound goes down, right? It's the slide that, that we get on our, on our, so I put that arrow down slightly. Um, what about cow feed cost? If we're selecting for higher weaning weights and higher milk production, what happens to your cow feed cost? Cow cost will go up. Should go up, right? And longevity? Probably down. Probably down, right? So if we all agree that that's kind of the function, and we all agree that's the way we want it to go, and we all agree that that's probably the way it's going to go if we select for that, is that a good strategy to improve cow-calf profitability by selecting for a higher weaning weight? If we're in it for a one-year show, you bet. Yeah, right? If we're terminal cross, great idea, right? If the bank needs a check next year and that's it. <laughs> But I think that's a big revelation to the industry. I mean, it's, it's interesting because I've, I've given this talk in Australia, New Zealand, in Europe, in South America. It's all the same. I mean, we've all been guilty of seeing these seed stock animals that grow like crazy. And we say, well, that's what I want. I want my cattle to grow like crazy and, and have heavy weights. And we go buy those genetics and this is what happens and we scratch our head. We, we know single trait selection doesn't work because single trait selection ignores everything else. Indexes are good because they look at multiple traits, but if you use an index that doesn't look at all the traits, you can have trouble, okay? So when we look at this cow-calf function, we have an index called Dollar Ranch that's part of the dollar profit. It looks at everything in this model, okay? So the only thing that's going to hurt us on that if we chase Dollar Ranch too far is if there's something that drives profitability that we're not measuring. Okay? And you always have to be thinking about that. If you're selecting for one thing and there are seven things that drive profit, it doesn't work out well. That's what this showed, right? Now, if you're selecting for all these at the same time, it works out better, but you still have to always be asking yourself, did I leave something out? And if we only have to think about competing species and even in the cattle industry and the dairy model, the chicken guys, they made a lot of selection pressure. They actually made the chickens grow so fast their legs wouldn't support them. That wasn't in their model, right? Big oops, right? The swine guys, they made the, the, the pigs so lean that they had huge tenderness problems. Another big oops. The dairy guys, they had, a, they had a great index to raise milk production. No reproduction. Reproduction wasn't in it. I'm like, well, well, who didn't think that reproduction was important to profit? I don't know, but somehow they did that. But we know that these indexes work, and we know they're going to move you. Um, this is my, one of my favorite graphics. This is, shows... Um, chicken production from the 1950s compared to the 2001 and you see how much faster chickens grow today than they used to but they made that selection without increasing dry matter intake basically these chickens at the bottom ate the same per day as the chickens on the top they actually reduced the feed conversion by a third okay chickens at the top converted 2.6 to 1 these chickens are at 1.8 to 1 today they're more like 1.3 to 1.5 to 1 
you know, they've made this huge selection progress on that. Not something we've done in cattle. So we know that the indexes work. That's why when we go to sell our bulls, instead of just having the basic EPDs that most people have, we run these three indexes. The dollar ranch index, profit from birth through weaning, includes the fertility and milk and growth and cow feed intake that we've been talking about today. And, and as we see it today, when we look out in the industry, it's the only index that's out there today that'll select for that profitability from birth through weaning, looking at all those factors we talked about. We've got another index dollar feeder, which is profit from weaning to harvest. There's lots of indexes in the industry that look like dollar feeder. Simmental has one called the terminal index. Angus has one called dollar beef. Dollar beef is a terminal index. It's looking at feed conversion and carcass value and carcass weight, and it's gonna make cattle grow faster and get bigger and heavier and leaner. And then we have the dollar profit where we put them together. It's really just both parts put together. It's the one number, as you said, Randy, that predicts your bottom line. If you're a customer and you're coming to us and you're going to sell the calves at weaning, you can, you can select just on Dollar Ranch, but your steers won't be as valuable. If you select just for Dollar Feeder, the cows don't work. Some of the old cattle, I mean, we, it, you know, those of us that study bloodlines, if we go back and say, here's a great maternal bull, here's a bull, the daughters lasted forever and we really liked them. When you look up their dollar ranch, they're all really high. They might have been born a long time ago. Their growth and carcass EPDs by modern standards look bad. None of us would go to a bull sale and buy them, but their daughters were great cows. Okay. Now we go to a bull sale and we buy this big growthy bull. He makes lousy cows. It wrecks our business. And I think because you have that data, I mean, those of us that have used it a lot, we start to say, wow, this is really helping us avoid those bulls that created those daughters that just didn't work at all for us. Building a better beef industry together is what Blockyard is all about. But how exactly is it doing that? Let's see how Blockyard is putting the production health and genomic information you need right at your fingertips. It all starts when calves are tagged, issued electronic identification, and a tissue sample is collected using a tissue sampling unit or TSU. This sample provides the genomic information necessary to create a digital footprint. The process is as simple as creating a profile on Blockyard and uploading basic animal information. Once animals are enrolled and samples are processed, you'll see breed composition and available parentage results and be able to order replacement heifer and feeder cattle predictions. You can get predictions on individual animals or on a group of animals. Either way, this secure information stays with the animal or animals, creating a digital story as information is gathered and entered into Blockyard. It's a story that can help everyone along the way, from cow-calf producer to the stalker backgrounder to the feedlot producer. As more data is entered at each stage, Blockyard can help make it easy to make informed decisions throughout the supply chain by documenting each animal's unique story. With Blockyard, you can have the information you need most right at your fingertips. Unlock your value chain with Blockyard. Get started at Blockyard.com. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us honor our flag and country with the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars 
Through all the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rockets reclam The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. And welcome to Superior Livestock's monthly Holstein Steer Auction for February 1st, 2023. We have 14 lots, 1,660 head to be offered this afternoon. But before we begin today's Holstein Steer Auction, let's briefly mention tomorrow's next regular Superior Livestock Auction. 329 lots have been cataloged. That includes 16 supplemental lots for an offering of 37,000 head. The auction begins at 8 a.m. Central, right after the Superior Sunrise at 7.30 a.m. Central. Well, time now for our Holstein Steer Auction. Let's take a look at our first lot, and that would be lot number N120 by SD Feeders at Syracuse, Kansas. 130 Holstein Steers with a base weight of 350. They deliver April 1st through May 1st on the Superior Ride Slide. Also, VAC Precon, NHTC approved. And your rep is Troy Shaw. Ladies and gentlemen, your auctioneer for today from Weatherford, Texas, here's Ted Odell. Thank you, Clyde. Appreciate that. It is a privilege to be here and welcome everybody here to balmy uh, uh, Weatherford, Texas. Uh, it's pretty nice outside. Well, we got a nice set of Holstein steers to start with here in lot number N120. Little 350 pounders. Help yourself here. All right, and down bone that I can start them here to tear down two dollars. No point. It turned them down down one. I am on the two dollar to bond down and two to the one. It turned them on the two one. I am on the bond here to the one. It from the double daughter ninety. Now one. And other than ninety get on the school down daughter ninety down one. In hundred and ninety, now I'm hundred and eight, hundred and dollar ninety ninety one. In hundred and ninety, hundred and one, now I'm hundred and eight, hundred and pair dollar ninety one two. Ninety, hundred and two dollar now, ten dollar dollar ninety one ninety two. Ninety, hundred and two, rough now two, now ten dollar dollar ninety two three. Ninety two dollar to three, now ten dollar dollar ninety three now internet channel. And a dollar ninety two three, now ten dollar dollar ninety two dollar to three. Ninety, ten dollar to three, let's go now, ten dollar to three four, now from the dollar ninety four. Ninety, ten dollar to four, dollar dim down four dollar bear dollar ninety three four. If on the four. Four five and found that a daughter ninety found that a four five. If daughter ninety five now found that a five six and a daughter ninety found that a six daughter daughter. If ninety found that a six daughter day and daughter ninety five ninety six and ninety found that a say. If ninety six seven then some daughter daughter ninety seven dear hundred and ninety seven. It's some daughter daughter ninety seven daughter dear ninety six seven daughter on and down bay. Ninety seven to be daughter bay now deemed that a bay dear ninety seven to ninety eight. Ninety seven to be daughter dear ninety eight now deemed that a day now eight nine nine and a daughter ninety nine. Daughter ninety eight now nine and another day daughter ninety nine dear eight now nine. It's ninety nine down two dollars on a man, two dollar day and even money too. It two little two down two dollar pound down and another day. It two little team daughter ninety nine down two and a bond down bond at two hundred and one. It from the two one down bond at a bond down bond at two hundred and one. It from the two dollar to bond down bond at a two dollar to bond day bond two. It turned them down two hundred and two now another two hundred and bond other than two. It turned in two now two dollar team now two dollar three. It turned in two now three hundred and three that two or three now and three that three now four. It turned in three now four now four that are four now from the Turn in three down four. It's turned in four five down. Find that it is two or five down. Find that it is turned in five. If from that it is two hundred and four hundred and five hundred and two hundred and five hundred and five. Two hundred and five down six. Now six and find out that six daughters on it. It's turned in five six four down six daughter day and hundred and five down six. It's turned in six seven down seven daughter day and two hundred and seven daughter day and down six seven. It's turned in six and down seven daughter day. Internet's in the lead and turned in six and down seven. It's turned in six and down seven daughter day and down seven daughter day. Turned in six now seven. It's turned in two hundred and seven now eight now in the two hundred and seven daughter day. It's here now in the bear now in the bear now in the two hundred and day. It's turned in seven now eight nine now in the two nine and down the two nine and down the two nine. It's turned in nine now seven daughter day and down seven daughter day. Turned in six now seven daughter day and down seven daughter day. Turned in six now seven daughter day and down seven daughter day. Turned in six now seven daughter day and down seven daughter day. Turned in six now seven daughter day and down seven daughter day. Turned in six now seven daughter day and down seven daughter day. Turned in six now seven
bed ten. He daughter than nine. Two hundred and nine. Down down da da nine. Ding da 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 nine. He daughter than nine. What do you say? Down down da 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 bed da 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 nine. Said no. Sold the cattle at two dollars and eight cents a pound. On click the bed. Next slot. At one twenty one. Still work for SD Feeders, Syracuse, Kansas. One hundred thirty Holstein steers at three fifty in the eight lot. They deliver June one through July of one on the Superior Right slide. Meyer the A lot has the option on the B and C lot. All right, like Clay said, option on three lots of them right here, 350 pounders again. Oh, now you'd hear you like these. And down, set them dead here, the tear, that a daughter 95 say. It thang dee, find out of that six daughter day. And on the right slide, and a daughter 95 say. It thang dee, find out of that six daughter day, and daughter 90. Find out of that six daughter down and house say. It's six year down, and find out of that six daughter down seven. It's six and down seven daughter day, 96 year down seven daughter bear day, 96 seven. It's some that are down 96 and down seven daughter bear day, and some that are six daughter down seven. It's some that are down seven daughter day, 96 seven. Down seven daughter six daughter down seven. It's some that are down ninety seven. Come on here seven. It's some that are down ninety six seven daughter day. Come on in here ninety seven. Ninety six seven daughter bear down ninety six year down seven. It's some that are down daughter ninety seven daughter bear ninety six year down seven. It's seven daughter day ninety six daughter down seven daughter daughter ninety seven's all. It's six year. How about a half? That help you in ninety six and a half now seven. It's six and a half now seven down seven daughter bear down ninety six and a half down bed seven. It's some that are down ninety seven daughter day. It's six and a half down seven daughter ninety seven. It's six and a half down seven daughter bear down seven. Daughter to ninety seven. It's six and a half down seven daughter bear down to ninety six and a half seven and a half. Ninety seven seven and a half. You both are out here now. Ninety six and a half down seven. It's seven daughter to ninety seven. Click the bids in and six and a half down seven. And seven and a half now. How many daughter down seven? How many daughter bay? It's seven and a half of the bay. Now the daughter day seven daughter down bay. It's ninety daughter bay. Now the daughter down now the dear dear bay. Ninety daughter down on the bay. Them seven and a half bay. It's seven daughter down ninety eight. Now the daughter down dollar. Ninety daughter down bay daughter bay. It's ninety daughter down seven and a half of the bay daughter down at each one of them eight. Ninety daughter bay down at each Seven fifty down eight ninety seven and a half with a bay daughter down eight here. What do you say now? Ding that a seven and a half eight. It's him then that a bay here now. Ding that a bay now. Did you want again down eight seven and a half eight? Gotta go eight now. Seven and a half with a bay daughter down eight daughters on her. So I'm dating daughter ninety seven and a half on your phone, Joe. Daughter ninety seven fifty. You have an option on three lots. If you want three, take one, two, or three. Takes one lot. Sell the B lot option on the C. On the B lot, and down to the B lot here, the tear down daughter ninety, no more. In the daughter ninety down, bond here, let's all go. And the daughter ninety, bond the tear, and ninety, bond the two daughter band down, bond down, two daughter down, bond down, two daughter, same good cattle now, ninety, bond daughter down, two. If two daughter down ninety, bond the two daughter down, two get on here, two, two daughter down, two, three. If three daughter down ninety, two daughter down, three daughter down, ninety two, three. If three daughter down daughter ninety two, down, three daughter down, three daughter down, three daughter down, ninety two daughter down, three. If three daughter down ninety, two daughter down, three down, three daughter down, two down, three. If three daughter down ninety, two. Thing that thing that daughter ninety three ninety two daughter to three three daughter bear ninety three four it thing that four down from the phone that daughter ninety three down from the three daughter to four if from the three down from the phone that ninety three four ninety four daughters here how about a half and ninety three fifty it three down how many daughter ninety three ninety three and a half sold them at a daughter ninety three and go the same way Joe daughter ninety three you want two lots this time. Takes both of them, he said. You betcha. Takes, Takes them both. both. Let's go to N-122, SD feeders. These are at Nimit, Texas. These are Holsteins, 130 Holstein steers at 350. Go on June 1, July 1 on the Superior right slide. NHTC approved. The buyer of the A lot has the option on the B lot. Thank you, Clyde. Going to June delivery and down to the bond of the daughter ninety. It under the ninety to bond and bond of the ninety. Under the bond of the day bond of the bar. It under the ninety under the bond and bond of the bond of the ninety daughter ninety one. It under the ninety under the bond and bond of the bond of the ninety bit bond. What do you say here? Why? It from the ninety down bond of the daughter ninety now. Why? It under the ninety down bond bond of the bond bond. You want in there bond the school now bond of the bond of the bond. It under the down bond of the bond of the now bond of the daughter eighty now. Why? It under the eighty now bond. Let's all in and the daughter eighty now. Why? And eighty bond two, ding ding da da da, eighty bond da da da, ding da da da, ding da da da. Money's on the school boys. Eighty bond, eighty ding da da da, bond down two, da da da, eighty bond, eighty two, eighty bond da da da, ding da da da, two. Bids on, click to bid now. Eighty bond two, three, eighty two da da da, three. Y'all out here, ding ding da da da, ding da da da, eighty two, three. Da da da, eighty two, ding ding da da da, ding da da da, da da da, eighty two, ding ding da da da, eighty two, bid three. It ding da da da, ding down three. One back in down three. Click to bid round, gotta be three. It ding da da da, eighty two, ding ding da da da, ding da da da, da da da, eighty two, three. And now four, eighty three, down four, got him to four, four, five. If I'm there at a baby, found out at a baby, found bear down, found out at a baby, four five. If I'm there at a baby, found out at a baby, four now, found out at a found out at a baby, four five. If I'm there at a baby, found out at a daughter, eighty four five, found out at a found out at a bit five. If I'm there at a baby, found out at a found out at a baby, four five, you want back in down five, eighty four five. What do you say, five down, four and a half down five. If four and a half another five down, found out at a four, fifty down five, found out at a four and a half, five, five and a half, eighty five, five and a half, eighty five, found out at a baby, five, fifty, eighty five, found out at a daughter, eighty five down, found out at a baby. 
Option on the next lot. You want to take them right along? You bet he does. Says he takes both lots. He right? takes them both. Let's go to end 123. End 123 is a lot to buy. SD feeders at Dimmit, Texas. 130 Holstein steers at 350. These delivered July 1, August 1 on the right slide. NHTC approved. Buyer the A lot has the option on the B lot. The option on the B lot. I'm Get these in July now. One, two, eighty one dollar down to it from the two dollar bear down a daughter to eighty one dollar to tune down to eighty one dollar to tune that a bond down to tune that a tune down to eighty one to eighty one dollar to two dollar day two dollar bear to eighty one dollar to tune that a baby one dollar to tune that a tune that a bond down to eighty one dollar to eighty three eighty two thirty scoot eighty two dollar to thing down thing that a baby two three it thing that a three four down from the other baby thing that a thing that a baby three four it from the other baby thing that a four from the other four click the baby jump out down to eighty four another four 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 eighty four Four five now, found that at a baby, found that at a five, eighty four that at a bit time now, found that at a baby, found that at a five, eighty four five, if under the daughter eighty four now, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, how about a half, eighty four fifty, eighty four from the other eighty four, eighty four now, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found that at a five, hundred and five, hundred and four, found these are by the AB Ranch, Stephenville, Texas. 140 Holstein steers at 350. They deliver April 1 to May 1 on the Superior Right slide and their VAC Precon in 124. All right, new deal now. AB Ranch right over here down the road at Stephenville now. Uh, 98 like these. I'm buying that at a buck 90 now, boy. In that at a 90 April cattle here now. And it ordered 90 now, boy. In that at a 90 down, boy. Now, I'm buying that at a buck 90 now, boy. In that at a 90 down, get on the phone now, boy. And it ordered 90 now, boy. In that at a 90 down, boy. 80 then now, boy. That at a 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, Eighty Fifty do that, eighty five fifty, eighty five from the hand of six, and daughter eighty five for the hand and six auto by it's a total on a daughter eighty five fifteen that it's a total day now higher now how many of eighty six and higher it's a six beam down how many of them down how many of them down eighty six and higher down seven eighty seven and higher and now how many of you both are out eighty seven and higher it's seven daughter be now how many of them eighty seven fifty eighty seven some number of eighty seven some number of seven and a half now be eighty seven and a half of a beat order down down the day click the bids in the bay that are the bay eighty seven number of the bay now ding that are some number of the bay here now eighty seven ハイフェイ。ヘイドルデンダーデイ。ワリセイナーデンダーデイ。ダンボンダーデイ。ダンボンダーデイ。ダンボンダーデイ。ソムディーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデ
We're headed to Indiana right here, gentlemen. Indiana 500 pounders right here. And down daughter 61. In the 16, bit pong. Get him down. Let's go. Down 16, boy. In the 16, bit Down one. Do you down one to the band, daughter 61. In the 16, bit Down Down one. Changing parts of the world now, daughter 61. In the 16, bit Down Down one. Daughter 50. Down one. Daughter 51. In the 15, bit Down Down one. Daughter 51. In the 15, bit Down Down Pretty good Holsteins, gentlemen. Daughter 51. In the what do you say, daughter? Fifty one down, bond 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 down, b
Thank you, Charles. In 129, Valerian Bid, Anna Shot, Ocarci, Oklahoma. 100 whole sneeze here for the base weight of 800. You Going bet. February 22nd, March 6th, two way six inch slide. Weight stop 825. You bet. Coming out just in part of March, first part of February, guys. And I tell you what, they're coming off the wheat pasture. All right. And now that I come here to tear dollar thirty one and thirty 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 and